Shalom. Call Lahum Le Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, better known as GMS, who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The Tabernacle of David, beginning with the 144,000, and the rest of the men, women, and children out of the 12 tribes, whom Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai will have mercy upon. And this is your brother Matazabath coming at you with a breaking news article from end time headlines and the title of the article reads elon musk reveals first human has received brain implant from Neuralink and is recovering well okay now many of the uh brothers um the apostles of course uh and the elders all right brothers all over all right who are preaching the 100 percent doctrine of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, all right, are touching on this uh, article, all right, because this is a very big thing, all right, and what makes it a very big thing is the fact that it has to deal with biblical prophecy, all right, and see, essentially, you have Israelites out here that laughed at us, that scoffed at us, that mocked us, all right, that stated ain't no microchip, all right, or the, the microchip is not the RFID uh, C hip or Salakia, the mark of the beast, I should say, is not the RFID C hip. All right. And this is the reason why the Bible says measure the time diligently within itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shall thou well understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And so here it is. We are measuring the time diligently by watching out for the things that the prophets of old have spoke about that was going to lead up into the times that we're in now. So reading this article, it says here, Elon Musk on Monday announced that the first person has had a neural link microchip implanted into their brain. The first human received the implant from at Neuralink yesterday and is recovering well he wrote on x all right which x is the new brand name for form formerly known as the app twitter it says initial results show promising neuron spike detection and the company aims to implant the microchips into the brains of paralyzed people and allow them to move their bodies using their thoughts it says Neuralink received food and drug administration fda clearance in may 2023 all right. So that's a tell all tell sign. Right. It says for its first trial to test the company's implant in humans, a critical milestone for the startup until Sunday. The chips had only been implemented in monkeys and pigs. And they showed you that going back at the start of uh, around 2020, 2021, around the time of the pandemic. It says Neuralink announced in September that it would soon commence a trial in humans to evaluate the safety of its uh, of its implant. And we all know why that is, because ultimately it's leading down to Revelation 13 verses 16 through 18. And we told you this was going to happen. It says details of the patient were not given, but Ashley Vance, who wrote a 2015 biography, Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX in the quest for a fantastic future, wrote in a Bloomberg report that the ideal candidate for Neuralink's first human trial was in a uh, was an adult under age 40 whose four limbs are paralyzed and vance explained that it would take a couple of hours for a surgeon to perform a crani uh, craniectomy uh so lucky i mispronounced that crani cranet uh tom uh <laughs> slip of the tongue Salakia. that word there i'm gonna just say that in a further 25 minutes for the chip to be inserted by a robot into the area of the brain which controls the hands, wrist, and forearms. The goal is to show that the device can safely collect useful data from that part of the patient's brain, a key step in Neuralink's efforts to convert a person's thoughts into a range of commands a computer can understand, Vance uh, added. And Vance said that, or said, the implant would relay this information to a nearby laptop or tablet. And during the human trial, a robot developed by the company will surgically place the implant's ultra fine threads that 
help transmit signals into participants brain, the company said. Vance, who said he had visited Neuralink's facilities 10 times in three years, also revealed how Musk had pushed his company uh, to uh, to work off the threat of similar brain computer startups, uh, Synchron and Onward. Both had already begun human trials, leading the billionaire to fume last year that the two companies were currently kicking our ass. In response, he said to have told Neuralink that it needed to pick up its pace like the world is coming to an end. All right. And I wonder why he said that. And see, you got to be able to, as the scripture says, you know, you, um, well, first and foremost, um, speaking as a man, our apostles always taught us that you got to understand the times that we're in and to, and in order to understand the times that we're in, you got to be able to link the things that you see going on in the world. All right. To prophecy. Now, do you think it's a coincidence when he said in his response, having uh, said to have told Neuralink, Neuralink, that is, that it needed to pick up the pace like the world is coming to an end? Now, why do you think that? Because Esau Edom knows that, you know, his time is running short. All right. As the scripture says in Job, the 14th chapter, the Lord set at the bounds. He appointed the times which this devil cannot pass, roughly paraphrasing. All right. And so with that. All right. This devil is about to come down with great wrath because he know it that he had but a short time. And eventually he's going to mandate that chip on a global stage. You know, so it says onward that Reuters reported in June that the company was valued as high as five billion based on private stock trades. And Neuralink has has, however, been dogged by controversy in recent years, having sparked ethical concerns and drawn skepticism among neuroscience, uh, neuroscientists and other uh, experts. All right. And, you know, that's pretty much, you know, it going into the article. But as you can see, we're we're here, man. OK, the prophecy is uh, are speaking. And this is, um, you know, one giant clo uh, one closer step to the RFID C hip, which is going to be implemented and mandated for you either to get it in your wrist or in your forehead right so you know let's go right to the scriptures and let's go to revelation the 13th chapter and verse 16 and it says and he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark or karagma which when you go into that word mark the greek word there is karagma which is simply uh, speaking of uh, to be engraved with or in an incision. All right. And it says to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, when you go into that word foreheads. All right. You have the Greek word, which should be met upon, I believe. Right. Strong's G 3359 metal upon metal upon. Now it says the space between the eyes, the forehead. All right. Strong's G, it says an ops to face the forehead as opposite the countenance. Now, the root word to this is meta. OK, which means with, after or behind. All right. Uh, Strong's definition properly denoting a, a company accompaniment amid Modify verily according to the case. All right, yada, yada, yada. That he again against from hence. All right, which ultimately is pretty uh, interesting because we have something today. All right, called uh, meta, meta world, meta universe, right? Which, you know, basically means in the midst of. All right. So, you know, amongst in the midst of which if we go further. Let's see if that's in the etymology. All right. Yeah. Meaning after behind among altered, changed, altered, higher beyond. All right. And that's what they want to do. So let's take that down. No distraction. So when you understand 
All right. You know, and that's the importance of uh, putting these words together. OK. And so Esau, you know, he's going to deceive the masses of the public via means of his miracles. Let's let's grab that revelation the 19 chapter, I believe, verse 20, which says, and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet. OK, which represents the um, the 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 Roman uh, Catholic Pope. All right. He is the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them that have received the mark of the beast and them that worshiped his image. OK, which ultimately goes into Esau's uh, power structure, his system. All right. Beginning with NATO and the EU and Babylon and Great America that sits on top of it instituting their enterprise which is the uh, new world order okay which they're going to fail completely and it says these both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone okay and so you know this is important because hey as we've been saying any of you israelites that laughed mocked scoffed at us you have a lot of blood on your hands if you don't repent because you're supposed to be redeeming the times all right and you're supposed to be sounding the alarm all right to the flock you know and this is the reason why the heavenly father through his son yahweh Shah, set up the servants the prophets to give warning all right and we told you that this was coming because this is part of the hour of temptation which ultimately goes into they're mandating this chip because what's what is going to come down to is that if you don't take all right this digital I identification all right this uh surveillance under the skin this implant you will not be able to part uh take in esau society so you're going to be tested on all levels that's why it's known as the hour of temptation you're going to be tempted to get this and see how they're going to come at you with this is they going to address it like they did in this article dealing with this man being paralyzed, but through this miracle of technology, which is Esau's pseudoscience on the left hand side. OK, a right hand of falsehood. OK, as it says in the book of Psalms, um, that's how they're going to get majority of our people. Oh, man, you mean I can just put this chip in me and I can open up doors and and cars and I can uh, activate certain computer systems with my brain in there. You know, he's going to allude to the fact that you're going to be able to do all of these things. And that's what's going to suck a lot of our people in. And, you know, we'll end it off on this, you know, because I don't want this to be too long. But the uh, second Thessalonians two, starting at verse seven, it says for the mystery of iniquity doth already work and only he who now let if will let until he be taken out of the way all right so the heavenly father is going to let this devil continue to, to to keep building all right trying to lead his new world order until he be taken out of the way when the time reveals itself which is very uh soon shortly if i may add verse eight and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth starting with us the servants the prophets beginning with the apostles, the bishops, the teachers alike on down and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And that's talking about our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It says even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. All right, because that is a lying wonder within itself, telling you that, you know, um, is going to be able to heal you. You're going to be able to do this and do that. Not understanding that your life, okay, is in the hands of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So really, it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that's controlling you, all right, whether your spirit is going to live on this earth or not. It is not through the means of Esau's technology. You know, but see, you know, those of you who are not in the truth and you're in the world, there's going to come a time very shortly where you're going to have a rude awakening. So it says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. So you're going to perish. You're going to fall for the okie doke. OK. And, you know, as you know, scripture says, woe unto them that's that's uh, go down to seek help from Egypt, roughly paraphrasing. <laughs> Because when this chip gets mandated, 
just like, you know, everybody was tested. OK, when the, the serpent juice. OK, you all should know what I'm talking about right around the time of 2020, 2021, when they was forcing people to take that serpent juice. OK, this is going to happen all over again, but in a greater fat, uh, uh, in a greater fashion. The only difference is you're going to be tempted so much so that it's going to be a life and death situation. All right, because those who don't take it, you're either going to be beheaded, OK, or you're going to be outskirts from society. That's scriptural. You know. So, you know, now is the time to really take this truth seriously, repent. All right. So that you may be, uh, you know, able to escape the judgment and the wrath that's coming because anybody who takes it. All right. Let's go to it. Revelation of 14 chapter and verse nine. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of wrath of the most high, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. And no, it's not one of those things where you go and take it just to get a loaf of bread and some milk or whatever, because, you know, you, you needed to survive that just ultimately that means you never have faith to begin with, because if you have faith in this, all right, you will uh, stand clear because this is a direct commandment on high to not take it. You know. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, Lord's will, you know, this was uh, edifying. And uh, if I can remember, I'll leave the link in the post uh, production. Um in the description box for those who want to uh, view it. So with that, giving all praise, glory and honor be to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rakaq, Wadash. It's on to the next one. Lord's will. Shalom.